Alright guys, let's get started here, so... Everybody, welcome to part one of the massive Pokemon Sun and Moon Unified Minds opening. So... So yeah, here we are. Unified Minds, the third last set of the Sun and Moon series. Of course, you know, we got... Hidden Fates coming up uh, later this month. And then November we have Cosmic Eclipse, which will be the last set of the Sun and Moon series. And then of course starting in 2020 is the Sword and Shield series. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Hey, welcome back Math Grant. Oh, the beauty of multi-twitch is pretty awesome. I've definitely made good use of that myself. So yes, hopefully you are doing well, Math Grant, on these long weekends. So anyways, let's get started here. So part one. Let me give me opening up. Two booster boxes. Of unified minds. So yes, here we, so yes, here we are. We'll kind of show you what the boost box looks like. You can see there's Mewtwo and Mew on the front there. Uh, th that is actually the secret rare tag team GX that we're going to be going for. Uh, that also everybody else is going for in this set. Let's have Espeon Deoxys on one side, Ambion Darkrai on the other side, and on top we have Garchomp and Giratina, and oh, there's nothing on the bottom. So yeah, uh, also another thing, Unified Minds, this is now the biggest set ever released in Pokemon TCG history. Being at Lost Thunder, Team Up, and every other set released previously to this. Uh, I believe... I believe if you don't count Reverse Foils, there's 258 cards in this set. And then if you do count Reverse Foils, it's uh, whopping 454 cards. So... It's, it's a really, really big set that we are, that we have here. So anyways, let's get started here. Let's pop, let's pop box number one up here. So yes, we we do have, you know, Mewtwo and Mew GX, and then you got the, all the other tag team GXs that are on here. Uh, I believe we also have, uh, Rallet and a little Executor. I believe we have Psyduck, Slowpoke. We have both Raichus as a tag team in this set. And... I might, I might be missing one, but I'm not sure. But... Oh, well, we'll, we'll get to talk about them and whatnot. Talk about what they do and everything. So yeah, here we go, guys. Unified Minds. Let's get started. Here we go. Pack number one. Uh, yes, also this set, uh, once again, has no Prism Stars, unfortunately, so... So, sadly, if you're looking for Prism Stars in this set, well... Unfortunately, you're not really gonna find any, but... Anyways, let's let's get started here. Uh, we'll kinda go slow for, the, for a little while. You know, just, you know, new set, we want to check out all the cards. So 
Pyro Magmar, Tynemo, Cosmog, Salandit, Oops. Gibble, Oranguru, surprisingly as an uncommon. We have, what is that? Weakness Guard Energy. Interesting special energy card. What does it do? This card provides one Carlos energy. The Pokemon this card is attached to has no weakness. So there you go. Pretty simple effects. Actually, I think I'll just put it over there for now. Alright, here we go. Our first trainer card. We have Stadium Nav. So, yes, we'll get to talk about all the different trainer cards in this set. So, Stadium Nav. Flip two coins for each head. Search your deck for a Stadium card. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then, shuffle your deck. Let's Stadium Nav. First reverse hollow, we have good old Pikachu, everybody's favorite Pokemon. Looks like he's just. Oh, oh, Pikachu's in the bakery shop. Oh boy. Pikachu looking at all those really nice baked goods there. And for our first rare card, we have a Haunch Crow. Very nice there. Oh yes, I should. Oh yeah, I for, I did forget to mention. Um, this is also the first, the first Sun and Moon series set to actually have a. Secret Rare Stadium card. And if you guys are wondering what that same card is, it is Viridian Forest. So, so along with the Mew, Mewtwo and Mew GX Secret Rare, I would like to pull. I would also like to pull the Secret Rare Viridian Forest, just kind of see... Just to kind of see how Nintendo designed their um, designed their secret rare Steam card, because normally, normally their their secret rare cards are just either Pokemon are just Pokemon GX uh, items or energies. That's it. All right, here we go. Next pack here, Cottony. Formantis, Siwado, Marini, Litwick, Masharna, we have Mi Misty's Favor, so Misty is back, and this is search your deck for up to three supporter cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. There you go, get ready to get supporter cards. We have Knock Towel. We have Blues Tactics for our reverse hollow. What is this one? This is at the end of this turn, draw cards until you have eight cards in your hands. So actually that that's actually Pretty good to, pretty good if you're low on cards. Just play this and you can have a nice hand. And we have Zygarde. Oh man, Zygarde is back. What was the other set that Zygarde was in um, for Sun and Moon? I think, it, uh, oh, it was Forbidden Light. That's what it was, Forbidden Light. Red and White had a bunch of Zygarde cards. Alright. So, nothing yet. 
So I'm looking for our first hollow, rare, or better card. Alright, here we go. Mana. Oh, oh, Pikachu is back. Badoof! Cosmog, Magmar. Was that even ringing a bell? Man, look, look, look at the picture of the sound waves coming off of that bell. That looks pretty cool. So, ear ringing bell. The Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon is it, and is damaged by an opponent's attack. Even that Pokemon is knocked out. The attacking Pokemon is now confused. So that's, you know, easy way to use your opponent's Pokemon. Here we are, we have Yan Mega. Blaine's Quiz Show. Very interesting. It's been a while. Actually been a very, very long time since we had like the Blaine's uh, quiz cards from Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge. Like, way, way back in the early 2000s. Let's see if this has the same effect. Put a Pokemon, for, put a Pokemon from your hand face down in front of you and tell your opponent the name of an attack it has. Your opponent guesses the name of that, po of that Pokemon, and then you reveal it. If your opponent guessed right, they draw four cards. If they guess wrong, you draw four cards. Turn the Pokemon to your hand. So, yes. Basically the same effect as one of the uh, really old Blaine's quiz cards. Uh can't remember exactly which one, but, but there were there was there was three of them. I think I think I think there was I think number one was in Gym Heroes. And I believe two and three were in Gym Challenge. I can't remember exactly which one it was. Magmortar Reverse Hollow. That's a rare reverse hollow. So there you go. First double rare pack. Let's go. And Obama Snow is back. Very cool. Right. Let's pack here. So yes, hopefully you guys are having a great long weekend. Maybe you guys are maybe on Twitch, maybe watching a little bit of Evo. I think I think what's going on, I think What's going on on EVO right now, I believe, is the, um, I think it's the Tekken 7 Grand, 7 Grand Finals, last time I checked. Though it might, might be, though I think that might have just ended as of right now. There is a lamp. There's a bread loom. Good old mushroom. Dark City. There we go. Getting, getting our first steam curd out of here. Dark City. This one is basic dark Pokemon in play. Both yours and your opponents have no retreat costs. So that's pretty cool. A uh, reverse hollow slacky! That is another rare reverse hollow. Once again, getting those double her packs. And nice! Hey, there we go. We got our first hollow rare card, Haxorus. Very, very nice. Awesome, so there we go. First foil card, hopefully, 
Hopefully many. Not sure what, what I wonder what's next after Attack in Seven. I wonder I wonder if they've done Smash Ultimate yet. I'm not I'm not sure if they have. That might that might be that might be actually next after Tekken Seven. Which probably right now as we speak is probably going on right now. We have Grinsley their supporter card here. So this one is move up to three damage counters from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another of their Pokemon. So kind of interesting. Could probably do some shenanigans with that. There we go. Hey, we have a Puky Miku. Urchin, one of the fossil Pokemon. We have Blizzard Town for our reverse foil. This one is this one is Pokemon with 40 HP or less remaining. Both yours and your opponents can't attack. Very interesting stadium card there. Pokemon with 40 HP or less remain can't attack. Oh, we have a Steelex here. As a fighting type, that's very unusual. Can't remember if Steelex was ever printed as a fighting type card. Usually Steeloxes are printed as as the metal type. So very interesting to see Steelox in this set as a fighting type. Okay, so far not much from this booster box so far, but I mean we are opening up 72 packs here, so we got we got lots of packs to go through. Just like how Evo has got lots of fighting game matches to go through. Especially when you got you know two thousand people for one game playing in a tournament over multiple days. Meta Chain Reverse Hall, that's another Oh, excuse me, that's another rare reverse hollow, so I love those rare reverse hollows. And we have an Archeops. Did I pronounce that right? Yeah, Archeops, I did pronounce it right. Interesting, I don't think I've seen an Archeops card before. Generation is Archeops. Uh, I guess... Yeah, I, gu I guess Archeops would be, I think, Gen 5? Seems like Gen 5. Interesting, I've never seen an Archeops card before. So very nice! I just, I, saw, I just saw something in the pack, so we might, we might get a little something something out of here, let's see. Let's 
Oh, hey, point pole on the Ultra Beast back. <laughs> Should speed run Wheel of Fortune? Eh. I don't know about that. That seems like a very meh speed run. May I play it just for fun? We have Pokey Maniac. Get another another supporter card here. This one is search your deck for up to three Pokemon that have a retreat cost of exactly four. Uh, that's that's pretty interesting. Reveal them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your deck. So I guess if you're playing mostly a Wheel Lord and Mamoswine deck, you could probably use this. Well, there we go. We have Lapras, a Pokemon that a lot of people really like. Karate belts. There we go. Get another item card out of here. This one is if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, the attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to cost one fighting energy less. So that's pretty neat. Good for your. Friday next. Oh, we have a reverse Hollow Grimsley now. There we go with the regular reverse one now. And hey, our first ultra rare card. So here we are. We have Slowpoke and Psyduck Tag Team GX. Man, man, that, that looks very cool. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it looks like Slowpoke and and Psyhawk are having having a pretty good old time out in the water there. Very very nice. Yeah, it got the sun shining. You can see the little rainbow rays there. The water. Very nice artwork. So Slowpoke and Psyduck GX with Ditch and Splash. Discard any number of supporter cards from your hand. This attack does 40 damage for each card you discard in, in this way. And then the GX move, Thrilling Times. Because you know, the you know, Slowpoke and Psyduck, you know, they're having so much fun in the artwork, because why not? Flip a coin if heads. This attack does a hundred more damage on top of the ten it already does. If this Pokemon has at least six extra water energy attached to it on top of the two water energy that you need, flip ten coins instead, and this attack does a hundred more damage for each heads. So basically, this GX attack can do as much as a thousand and ten damage. Which, well, even if you get like three heads, you're basically gonna knock out any and all Pokemon with it. So, pretty, pretty powerful stuff there but very very nice first ultra rare card all right so there we go got an ultra rare now 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 we're just looking for now we gotta move on up now we're in search for the full a uh, full art, and being that we being that we haven't pulled one yet, we are still due 
pretty sure for at least at least one or two full arts in this box. Unidentified fossil. Wait, have I think I think I've seen this card before. I know there was another Sun and Moon series set that this card was in. Just can't can't exactly remember which one. I have to I'd have to look it up. Yes, this one is play this card as if it were a sixty HP colorless basic Pokemon. At any time during your turn before you attack, you mean this card this card from play. And this card can't retreat. Wow, we have Tornadus in here as an uncommon. That's that is very strange. Usually, torn. Usually, the Tornadus, Tornadus, Landorus, and Thunderus are usually in here as at least rares. It's very unusual to see Tornadus in here as an uncommon here. Yeah, reverse hollow onyx. And a Latias. Not a hollow rare. But very nice. Hey, we got one of the legendary Pokemon. Hey, let's see. Hey me maybe maybe later in this opening we'll try pull a Latios. Cause I fit cause I I figure if Latios is in this set, then there has to be a Latios. It just makes sense to have both Pokemon both of those Pokemon in the same set. Oh, there, well, oh, there's another Pikachu card. Looks like this one's having fun out in the in the moonlight nighttime field. There, it's pretty. Uh, yeah, that other Pikachu artwork actually is pretty cool. I should kind of like that. Would actually make a pretty good foil card, to be honest. Oh dear. Come back here, fossil. I want you going away. Sorry. Sorry, cards are running away. There we go, there's Blizzard Town again. There's Why Not. Why not? One of the baby Pokemon that, that is in the sets. Might be the only one, I'm not sure. There's Type Null. Again, in here as an uncommon. Very strange. Very strange that uh, Type Null is an uncommon. Generally, generally, this Pokemon is either a rare or higher. We have Shroomish Reverse. And. Oh, there's the other Magmortar. I actually pulled this guy as a reverse foil earlier, so... There we go. Now we have the non hollow rare. Alright. Here we go. Oh, we have a Hanich. Hey, there's a sword. There's a sword for the Sword and Shield series. Maybe, maybe we'll pull the Eggy Slash and then we'll just say, hey, that's the mascot for the Sword and Shield series. And he just happens to, you know, actually be from the X, X and Y series, strangely enough. Fracture. 
Old gym. A reverse hello down mice. Oh, it's just not common. Another interesting card. Normally is a rare heart. In here is an uncommon. Scrafty. Non hollow rare. Scrafty doing there. Looks like he's in the sunset out in the field there. Do for a full art pretty soon. Almost halfway through the first box. There's a scrappy wind pod. No white bats. Oh yeah, seen a bunch still seen a bunch of the common cards that we haven't seen yet. There's Sable Eye. Uh, interesting thing about Sable Eye is that he's actually a tag team GX with uh, Tyranitar in the set, but it's not the regular Sable Eye. It's actually the Mega Evolution uh, Sable Eye. So I, I guess that also means that. Um, this set marks the first Sun and Moon set that a Mega Pokemon uh, is in here. So, that's also pretty neat. Uh, Flyinium Z Air Slash for an item card. Inter interesting, interesting name. Actually got a GX move. Yeah, I think there's another one of these item cards that's also like that. We'll go over it once we get it, but let's check out this one. So fly in EMZ Air Slash. The Pokemon this card is attached to has the Air Slash attack. It can use the GX attack on this card. So of course need the necessary energy to use this attack. So the GX move on this card is Speed Sky Strike, which does 180 damage. Prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So pretty interesting trainer card there. Oh, there's the other Haunt Edge in this set. This one is a Reverse Foil. And hey, speaking of Eggy Slash, there's our Sword and Shield, everybody. That is a Hollow Rare Eggy Slash. So there you go, we're, we're all set for... We're all set for Sword and Shield. Base set coming up in 2020. We have our Sword and Shield right here. Very nice. Second Hollow Rare card. Alright. may have seen oh what we haven't seen this one yet actually I guess we haven't seen all the commons yet cuz yeah this set is very very big there's a first Carablast right there there's our Sable Eye oh there's our first Relicant 
So yeah, probably after this first box, the second box, we'll go through a little bit quicker. Oh, there's our ear ringing bell, this time in reverse foil. This one allows you to confuse your opponent's Pokemon. We have Salazzle. And here's a Psychic type, where a Salna is a Fire type. Which is kind of interesting, because... Usually when Salandit and Salazzle are released in the same set, they're usually the same the same type. Whether it's fire or psychic. So a little bit strange that in this set there are actually different types, but well, I don't I don't work for Pokemon, so I don't I don't get to I don't get to sign on anything, I just open up packs. There we go, there's our Onyx. They pulled reverse foil from earlier. It's our first Fletchling, I believe. Okay, so here's the other one. We have nor normal, um, normal. Oh, how you pronounce this? Oh, jeez. Normalium Z tackle. Yeah, I'm just going to say that normalium Z tackle. All right, so kind of like how. Uh, fly in EMZ, you know, we need the, you need to attach to a Pokemon that has the Air Slash move. Normalium Z, this one, you attach it to a Pokemon that has the Tackle move. And it, it can use the GX attack on this card. So for, so for this one, it is Barreling Blitz. Flip a coin until you get tails. This attack does 40 more damage for each head. On top of the 200, it already does. So that is a pretty powerful move. Right there. So that is Normalium Z. There's Hapu. Of our supporter cards here. Look at the top six cards of your deck and put two of them into your hand. Discard the other cards. So that's Hapu. Magneton. Oh, there's our Z there's Zygarde again. This time it's a rare reverse hollow. Gotta love those double rare packs. And a Drift Blam. That kinda... That looks like it's... You know, it get, looks like it's got a couple of Raichu... Maybe trying to f wave it down or something, or... Maybe the Drift Blam is... Flying away... Somewhere. Who knows what's happening in that artwork. Alright. Okay. I, I definitely think by now we have pulled most of the comments. I don't think we pulled that Seawaddle yet, though. So I think we'll go a little bit faster. Oh, there's our first Blurantis. First Miss Spirit as well. Sableye is back, this time as a reverse foil. Very nice. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll pull 
the Tag Team GX that has the Mega Sable Eye in it. We have a Zerka Tree. One of the Ultra Beasts. Come back in this set. I know Zerk Tree was also. There's also a non hollow rare in another set. Might have been. I think that one also might have been Forbidden Lights, but I'm not entirely sure. I think it was Forbidden Lights. Seems right. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully after this opening, I'll be able to maybe go back to watching some more of that hot Evo action that I was watching earlier. For a third, wow, Flet Shinder in here is a common. That's interesting. It's first Snover, first Murkrow. Oof. Okay, first Komala, okay. So we still got some commons and uncommons we haven't seen yet, that's cool. Pokemon Research Lab. Another Steam Courage. Looks like a very cool lab. So this one is... Once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for up to two Pokemon that evolved from unidentified fossil, put those Pokemon onto their bench and shuffle their deck. If a player searches their deck in this way, their turn ends. So yes, you may use this effect on this curve, but you have to keep in mind your turn ends after that. Do not get to attack. Do you have to keep that in mind when you use the effect on that card? Ugh. Okay, reverse hollow Dratini. I think that's the first Dratini we've pulled. And Gumshoes! In here, once again. Been a little while since we've seen gum shoes in a Sun and Moon set. Alright. Only a few more packs. And the first half of this first box. So far, we haven't gotten too much. Hopefully, the second half of this first box will hold all the goodies. But we won't know till we start opening the first barrel. There's our oh, first double blade. Double Sword. Reverse Hall Scruppy. And a Noivern. Non Hollow Rare. It's very nice. Oh, excuse me. Alright, come on. Come on, we are due. We are due for at least a full art eventually. It's gonna happen. I've only I've only ever had I've only ever opened up one I've only ever only ever opened up one booster box. Where I have not gotten a uh, secret or full art. 
I think that was actually one of the Lost Thunder booster boxes that opened in that massive opening. Alright, here we go. Giant Bomb! As... as an I Am Courage. Interesting that... We got a bomb now in Pokemon. <laughs> so, Giant Bomb. This card is attached to one of your Pokemon. Discard it at the end of your opponent's turn. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon and takes 180 or more damage from an opponent's attack, even this Pokemon is knocked out, put 10 damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So, very interesting that basically your Pokemon is basically going to take a massive attack for this card to go off. Oh, we have Bug Catcher. One of the different kind of trainers that are out there in the Pokemon games. Just like the Pokemaniac. This one is, draw two cards, flip a coin, if heads, draw two more cards. So, just your standard draw power card. Another mess spirit. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Tortuga! Reverse hollow, very nice. And... Alright, another ultra rare card. Finally, I haven't got much out of this first box yet. So here we are, we have Weevil GX. Pretty sweet looking ultra rare card. So Weevil GX has the Shadow Connection ability. As often as you like during your turn before you attack, you may move a basic dark energy from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. So that's pretty cool if you can do that as often as you like. It has Claw Slash for 130 damage. No effect though. Then it's GX move, Nocturnal Maneuvers. Search your deck for any number of basic Pokemon and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. Doesn't do any damage, but it's a great way to get a whole bunch of Pokemon onto your bench. So very, very nice. Finally, and another ultra rare card. Still looking for a full art. I have a feeling it's gonna we're gonna get a couple in the second half of this first box here. Or maybe we'll get one here. Who knows? Alright. Oh, there we go, first Fungus. So yeah, I think we've pretty much seen... We've definitely seen most of the commons now, if not all of them. There might be... a couple... of commons we haven't seen yet. Oh, there's our unidentified fossil once again. It's time in... reverse foil. And... Nice! Hey! A Hollow Rare Victini! Awesome! So there we go. Two packs in a row having foil cards. And yeah, I also do have to say that those, those people competing in EVO in top 8 could definitely use 
definitely use a Victini or two to help them on their road to victory. Alright, here we go. Here we go, guys. Second half of box number one. I think we can start... Start going through the commons. Rather... Go through the comments a little bit quicker now, because we've pretty much... Pretty much seen all the comments, so we'll just... Oops, read through the comments. There we go, we have an electric. There's Dadene right there, so we still have, still have some uncommons we haven't seen yet. Frost last reverse hollow. That's a rare reverse hollow. Yes. Gotta love double rare packs. And an arachnid. Very nice. So yeah, for those of you watching EVO, hopefully you guys have been enjoying enjoying the event so far. You know, even though myself I don't play, I don't play fighting games, but to me, watching other people play fighting games really well, really, really, really well. It's, it's just like watching another person uh, play puzzle games really, really well. Just seeing, you know, how they can, you know, play so fast and efficiently. And it, it really is very, very cool. Cool to watch other people play fighting and puzzle games efficiently and really at a high level. And oh hey, Math Grant. There is your there's your furry friend right here. Lucario. I know I know Math Grant loves his Lucario cards. There, yep, there it is. Whoops, I got two packs. Man, what I have to say, one of these years I have, I would, I would actually like to go to, go to Evo in Las Vegas and just basically just experience the event just as like a spectator like like I'll, I'll never like I don't play fighting games so I'll never get to like compete in an EVO but I think it would be like really awesome to experience the event as a spectator you know even though I'll never get to compete in it because I don't play fighting games. We have Reset Stamp. So finally get another new trainer card here. This one is, the opponent shuffles their hand into the deck and draws a card for each of their remaining prize cards. So, I guess that would be pretty good if your opponent just had one prize card remaining. You basically just have have them only have one card in their hand. There you go, Taurus Reverse Hollow. And ooh, second Zygert. So already, already haven't got to our second box yet. We already have a double. 
of a rare card. But yes, as I was as I was saying, I would definitely like to maybe go to Las Vegas one day and experience Evo as a spectator. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll. Maybe depending on what side events they have, like if they have like, maybe you know some Puyo Puyo Tetris. Whoops! Let's not throw the cards now. Maybe they have like some like Puyo Puyo Tetris side events, or maybe other like puzzle games as side events that maybe I could participate in. That would be actually pretty pretty cool. Here we go, Finian Reverse Hollow, and hey, the Trevor Fullerts. Finally, getting our full art card out of this box. So here we are. We have the Pokey Maniac Ultra Rare. Full art card. Man, what is that Pokey Maniac doing? Is he. He is dressed up as a Slowpoke. And he. It kind of looks like he's going all doggy style in that, that photo right there. Boy, that Pokey Maniac looks really funny. <laughs> But anyway, still very nice. Finally pulled our ultra rare full arts out of this box. Maybe just maybe we'll pull a second one out of here. Cause yeah, I think I think in each I believe in each booster box you get I think it's two to three uh, ultra full arts uh, and or secret rares per box. Is that a two to three or one to three? I think it might be one to three. For uh, Sun and Moon series. But yeah, that is awesome. Finally, getting a full art card. And it just has to be doggy style. Pokey Maniac dressed up as a slowpoke of all things that can be on a full art card. Made by Nintendo, made by Pokemon of all companies. There's blue again. That's a regular trainer card. Reverse hollow magnemite. And <laughs> Wow, dude, that is back to back packs. That had full arts in it. Wow. Merle's Funhouse, hello, welcome. Welcome to part one of this massive Unified Minds opening. Where we have just pulled back to back full arts in two straight packs. So ho hopefully you've been enjoying your, your long weekends. So far. Alright, so here we are. Naganadol GX. Uh, this time is a Dragon type. Uh, I know. I know the last time uh, Naganadol GX was 
in a side it was a psychic type, but now it is a dragon type. So here we go. The Ganondorf GX with the Ultra Conversion ability. Once during your turn before you attack, you may discard an Ultra Beast card from your hand. If you do, draw three cards. So again, draw power. Uh, Venom Shot. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 170 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And then it's GX move, Injection. Add a card from your opponent's discard pile to their prize cards face down. So very, very interesting GX move there. Wow, dude. Back to back full art cards. Awesome. Oh yes, don't worry. Don't worry, we're gonna be sleeving. We're gonna be sleeving on these puppies. Especially this funny guy right here. You know, nothing like... Nothing like about that Pokemaniac. That I described... That I described about him earlier. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, that Pokemaniac full art. Boy, oh boy, the, the imagination that one could come up with as to what that Pokemaniac is doing. Murray's Funhouse, who is the follow? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Murray. Every little bit of support helps. Yes, actually, hmm. You know, honestly, looking at the Pokemaniac full art, that might actually be one of my favorite full arts as well. Oh man. Oh man, that Pokemaniac. That might, yeah, that might be one of my favorite full arts as well. Now, now I'm thinking about it. Anyways, here we are. We have Versal Channeler. It's actually our first Channeler we've pulled. Channeler is remove all effects of attacks on you and each of your Pokemon. So, pretty basic. And an Executor. Not the alone kind, just the regular executor. There, there is a, an alone executor in this set. He is in here as a tag team GX card with Rowlet. So hopefully, so hopefully we we can pull that one. For you guys, either tonight or maybe over the next two weeks. All right, so, we'll, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully everybody's enjoying the long weekends. Whether you've been out doing stuff. Hey, there's our regular Chandler. Are you right over there? Reverse Hollow Talon Flame. That's a rare Reverse Hollow. Very nice. Still a rare pack. And oh, I thought it was going to be a double Talon Flame pack for a second, but no. This is this is a camera up, non hollow rare.
Yeah, I when, when I pulled the card, I, I I saw red, so I'm thinking, oh man, it's gonna be a double Talon Flame. And then camera ups came along. It's just like, nope, nope, this will not be a double Talon Flame pack. Anybody else here in chat has been watching the Evo this long weekend? So I know I've been definitely watching it here and there over the weekends. Reverse Hollow Leaveny? That's another rare Reverse Hollow. Wow. Man, here we go, getting all these rare reverse hollows. I'm liking this. And nice! We have another ultra rare. This time is Mawile GX. Wow, I like how. I like how the big mouth at the. The big mouth of Mawile is just taking up like. Half of the card here. <laughs> Mom was just like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat half of this card." All right, very very nice. So here we go. Let's see what Mawa does. So it's got the captivating wink ability. When you play this card from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may have your opponent reveal their hand. Put any number of basic Pokemon you find there onto their bench. Interesting. You're kind of helping your opponent out. Well, actually, maybe you could do some shenanigans with that. It also has... It has also has Wily Bites. This attack does 30 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Okay, I, I see what you could do here. You can use the Captivating Wink ability. Put a whole bunch of base Pokemon onto your opponent's, onto your opponent's bench, and then that actually powers up the Wily Bite move that it has. Okay, I see. I see what Pokemon did there. Now, as GX move, Big Eater. Your opponent reveals her hand. Discard all supporter cards you find there. So there we go. There we go. That is our third regular ultra rare card. Alright, so yeah. So yes, yeah, second half of this box definitely was saving all the goods. Has it, you know, had both both the full arts. Maybe the second half will also have secrets. Who knows? Because we could, we could potentially still get another full art or secret out of this box. It's not out of the question. Our cycle energy. So this is the other special energy card that is in this set. So it provides one colorless energy. If this card is discarded from play, put it into your hand instead of the discard pile. Thus, recycling this card for later use. Oh, there's a Thunderous! Again, in here is an Uncommon, which is very strange. Dragonair. Reverse Hollow Bug Catcher. Again, one of the draw power cards. 
In an Alolan Raichu Hollow Rare. Very, very nice. So yes, this this Raichu and the regular Raichu is also in here as a tag team GX Kurt. So very nice. Got another foil card. Yeah, the second half of this box definitely much better than the first half. Let's let's go here next pack. Gonna have to start going quite a bit faster now since I think oh we haven't seen Cresselia yet yet. So I think at this point we've pretty much seen all the well actually we haven't seen this common yet, Benedite. Let's see reverse foil. A Scavalier non hollow rare. So, yes, maybe a Scavalier is uh, prepping up for the Sword and Shield s series as well, since it's one of those like, like night Pokemon. You know, it's just perfect, perfect for an Escavalier to have a sword and shield as well. So yes, yeah, we got small handful of packs left. So maybe, 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 just maybe, we'll get a secret. Out of here. If not, hopefully we'll get another. We'll get a secret out of the saga box. Oh, train quill. That's our first train quill. Rishala Slackoth. And nice. Hey. And Oxy Hollow Rare. Kinda interesting that Uxy is a hollow rare while while Mesperit and Azelf are uncommons. Um, I wonder why Pokemon decided to make Uxy a hollow rare and the other two just uncommons. Like, like when you see that, you would either think, why did they make Azelf and Mesphere hollow rares, or make Uxy an uncommon, so that, you know, the trio is, like, all together. It's kind of strange that, kind of strange that one of them is, like, a much higher rarity than the other two, but... Again, I don't work for Pokemon, so I don't make I don't make these cards. Actually, now that I'm kind of curious, I wonder who won. Oh, Salon! Oh, there is a Salon as a Psychic type. Okay, so there's two Salon Nits. There's a Fire type and a Psychic type Salon Interesting. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought the one Salon I thought, I thought there was only one Salon that was a Fire type, but obviously this set proved me wrong. Excadrill reverse Hollow. That's another. Rare reverse hollow. So double rare packs, let's go. And an un 
Pheasant. Non hollow rare. There we go, getting still seeing all these all the different rare cards still. Just nice. Still kinda of surprised that in this one box we ended up pulling two rare Zygards. Well technically three if you count the reverse four, but Oh. Oh well, it happens. Yeah. Now, now I'm curious who won the uh the Tekken 7 Evil Tournament. Cause definitely by now it would have would have ended. Coach trainer There we go, getting a new trainer card. Probably one of the few that we have yet to pull. So coach trainer Draw two cards. If your active Pokemon is a tag team Pokemon, draw two more cards. So again, just another draw power card. There's another Cresselia. What is that? Cherish Ball. Wow, we actually got a couple different trainer cards in this set. And, uh, in this set. This pack, I'm sorry. Can't put words together. It's a Cherish Ball. Search your deck for a Pokemon GX. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So just just standard search card. Reverse Hollow Swaddle. And Ooh, our second Steel X. Wow. Wow. That's our second rare double or duplicate we've gotten in this one box. Kind of surprising given that this is like the biggest set in Pokemon TCG history here. That we're, we're opening up. Because I think, I think in my other like massive openings, I've had lots of boxes where it's like I don't pull duplicates of rare cards in the same box. All right, reverse hall Lapras, and nice and ultra rare Rallet and a low executor GX. So yes, as I mentioned before, here is that alone executor that is in the set as a tag team with Rallet. And you kind of see that Rowlet looking kind of angry. Well, actually, they're both kind of looking very angry. It looks like they're... Uh, looks like both of those Pokemon are ready to fight. They are ready for battle. So let's see. Rowlet and the Lone Executor GX with Super Growth. Search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your grass Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it. If that Pokemon is now a stage 1 Pokemon, search your deck for a stage 2 Pokemon that evolves from that Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. So this would be like a great way to, in one turn, Make your Bulbasaur into uh, a Venusaur. It's kind of like 
It's kind of like the old, like the really old Pokemon breeder effects. In uh, in that sense, if you guys remember, you know, way back when when Pokemon breeder was a thing. All right, what else it has? It's calling Hurricane for 150 damage, and you get to heal 30 damage from this Pokemon too. So that's so that's always awesome, you know. Deal damage to your opponent, heal damage from your own Pokemon. It's always nice. And then it's GX move, Tropical Hour, for 200 damage. If this Pokemon has at least three extra energy attached to it, your opponent shuffles all energy from all of their Pokemon into their deck. So there you go, guys. That is Rowlet in Alona Executor GX. Very nice. Let's see, we got ooh, just a few packs left. We could could maybe still get a secret rare out of this out of this box, but um, we'll see. Definitely don't got very many packs left in this box. Only actually, I think it's only three. Yeah, only three after this. Just like how there's not very many games left in the in Evo remaining. Where's all sound it? Need a Medicham. Not hollow rare. I think we did pull this as reverse foil earlier. I think. Not entirely sure. I'll have to. I can always. We'll, we'll, we'll end up doing the recap at the end of the second box. The second box will have a secret rare in it. This first box doesn't have it. What is that? Giant? Giant Hearth. Interesting. That kind of just looks like a giant. That just looks like a giant fireplace for a stadium card. That is. That's kind of interesting. Looks like, you know, looks like a stadium that you would just find in, like, I don't know, someone's house or something. Very interesting, but... Giant Hearth! Once during each player's turn, that player may discard a card from their hand. If they do, that player searches the deck for up to two fire energy cards, reveals them, puts, puts them into their hand, then that player shuffles their deck. So again, more more fire support. You know, continuing from unbroken bonds that had a lot a lot of the fire support in that set. Well, there's our giant bomb. This time as reverse foil. And wow, another duplicate rare card. That's three now. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Are there not that many non holo rare cards in this set? That just seems really weird. But, eh. Maybe 
there are just not that many non-hollow rare cards in this set. Which would be very strange for, you know, the biggest set in Pokemon TCG history to not have that many non-hollow rares that were pulling all these dupes. Well, that's a first Jinx. Reverse Hollow Drapion. That's another rare Reverse Hollow. Yes. And nice. An ultra rare Caldeo GX. Very nice. Getting on. Wow, we actually did pretty good for regular ultra rares. We got five. Very, very nice. Five regular ultras. Definitely pretty good for one booster box. So yeah, Keldeo. It's actually been a while since I've seen a, a Keldeo card. I know Keldeo was sort of one of the more popular Pokemon cards back in the Black and White series. Nice to see Keldeo come back. Let's see what Keldeo does. Has the Pure Heart ability. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX. Very simple. Also has Sonic Edge for 110 damage. As it attacks, damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So. Weakness, resistance, other effects. Then it's GX move. Resolute Blade. This attack does 50 damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So there we go. That is Keldeo GX. So that is five regular Ultra Rares now. Very, very nice. Alright, here we go. Last pack. Box number one. And being this is the last pack of the first box. There you go, guys. Let's, let's give you guys a code for the online game. See if you guys can pull maybe a Mewtwo or a Mew GX, or maybe maybe something else that's pretty awesome. Maybe that maybe that secret rare voting forest that we're also gonna try to pull out of here as well and see. And see what a secret rare stadium card is going to look like. Reverse all Gabite. And a hollow rare chandelier. Very nice. Very nice. Nice way to end the first box with a foil card. Laser Jet 0912 with a follow. Thank you so much, Laser Jet. Every little bit of support helps. Hopefully, you got. Hopefully, you're enjoying your long weekends. Maybe you're enjoying Evo. That's uh, going on right now. Who knows? Either way, uh, hopefully you are doing well. Alright, here we go. Box number two. So yeah, the second box, should, we should go through it quite a bit faster than we did the first box. You know, first box is kind of like taking her time. 
you know, checking out all the the new cards in the set. But now that we've seen most of them now, especially the commons and uncommons, uh, you're definitely going to go through definitely going to go through the second box a lot quicker now. So here we go. So first box, pretty good. We got several ultra rares. Fortunately, no secrets. So come on. Second box, please give us a secret rare card. Cause, cause, yeah, I think I think on average for two booster boxes, I think on average you do pull one or two secrets per two boxes. But then again, it is not guaranteed in every booster box that you are going to pull a secret. And definitely that first box proved just that. So yes. Definitely be going through these packs a lot. A lot quicker now, since we've pretty much seen most of the cards. First haul, Jordy Gone. And. Really? Our third Latius non hollow rare. Wow. We're going to pull a Latios. Yo, welcome back, right tonight. Wow. Oh, two weeks? Wow. That seems like quite a while for a new set. For a new set to be legal in tournaments. Seems like a while. But, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't play the card game myself. I just collect the cards, so... I don't know. I don't really know how the whole, like... Like, tournament, legal... Timeline for new sets is, and... All that jazz like that. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what what decks are cut or cut that people come up with for the set. Okay, we have reverse all bounce suites and a behem, behem, non hollow rare. Finally, getting getting some different different rare cards instead of you know getting you know. Two or three, the same one. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would imagine. I would imagine for this set, uh, everybody is probably gonna try to play like a Mewtwo or Mew GX kind of. kind of psychic deck or something. That'd be my guess. You know, that'd be my guess given the fact that, you know, on the Elite Trainer Box for this set, Me Too and New are kind of, kind of featured on it. But, who knows, maybe some other people will play some sort of other deck in this set. Reverse Hollow Mana. And another gumshoes. Hey, another duplicate. Man, this, this is really weird. We're getting a lot of duplicates. You know, not just from the first box, but now in this box. Starting to hit hard with duplicates.
But yeah, how you doing, Ratchet Knight? Hopefully you're doing well this long weekend. Maybe you yourself are enjoying a little bit of Evo, Evo action that's going down. Hey, reverse holo, not tell. Oh wait, no, never mind. That's not a rare reverse holo. Never mind. Our is just not gone. Whoops. And our second Obama Snow. I... I... do not think I have the code card for the HS Trainer Kit deck. Uh... Sorry, Raichu Knights. And I think even if I did have it, I'd have to try to dig it out somewhere, and it'd be it'd be a, a, a bit a bit of a, a challenge to uh, try to dig it out. But 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 I'm pretty sure I don't have it. Oh, the gold Pikachu coin. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I don't have it then, cause, I, cause I'm pretty sure I don't have the uh, the gold Pikachu coin. Even though I think the gold Pikachu coin would look pretty cool. Uh, a Lolan Marak reverse hollow, and that is a rare reverse hollow. Yes, double rare pack. And ooh, a Celebi Hollow Rare. Very nice. Getting one of the legendary Pokemon from Gen 2. That is that's actually that's actually a very, very pretty background for a hollow hollow rare card. Very nice. Oh, you lost the coin. Rip. Rip the gold P Pikachu coin. But hey, good to good to hear they still have the uh, the gold Cyndaquil coin. I over here unfortunately don't have either gold coin, so I unfortunately can't say that I can't say that I either did have it or have it now, so So poor me not having uh, go coin. Oh, well, not everybody can have all the gold. Reverse Hollow Magnazone. That's another rare Reverse Hollow. Yes. Another double rare pack. And. Nice! An ultra rare Espeon and Deoxys. Tag Team GX. Who actually is on... Actually on... He's actually on this side of the box, right here. So very nice. Actually getting one of the, uh... Tag Teams that's on the... Like, it's on the pack art and the booster box. So very, very nice. Once again, another beautiful card. 
All right, here we go. Aspire on Deoxys GX with the Psychic Club. This attack does 30 more damage for each of your benched Psychic Pokemon. Top of the 10 already does. And then it's GX move, Cross Division. Put 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. If this Pokemon has at least 3 extra energy attached to it, put 20 damage counters on them instead of 10. So yeah, I think that could be a really good GX move. Putting, putting 6 energy on top on, on it and you know, a raging uh, 20 damage counters to maybe knock out you know quite a few of your opponent's Pokemon so that that could be good but very nice hey there we go get another ultra rare card very nice again Still do for a secret rare. I think that's a. I think that's a little fly on the wall there. Yeah, my. I think it's just a little fruit fly or something. It's not gonna do anything. I think he's just sitting on the wall there. He's just chilling. Maybe he's, maybe he's watching live as well. Me opening up these cards. So yay, getting views of different kinds. Reverse Hollow Murkrow. And another Unpheasant. Our second Unpheasant. I don't know, man. Boy, kind of feels like there really aren't that many non hollow rares in this set. For just getting a bunch of dupes. This seems kind of weird. Seems weird that, that we're getting a lot of dupes of non hollow rares for a very, very large set like this. Stone Rain Gaming with a follow! Thank you so much, Stone Rain Gaming. Every little bit of support helps. Hopefully you too are having a great long weekend. Cause we finally pulled a different non hollow rare card. So here we are, we have Tapu Fini as a non hollow rare. So there are a difference non hollow rare cards out there in this set. Just have to find them. So there we go. Maybe the other three Tapu cards are in this set as well. Maybe maybe Coco, Lele, and Bulu are also in this set. So, though I'm not totally sure, I didn't really, I didn't really look at the uh, the card list all too carefully. So, so it's very possible that the only Tapu card in the set is Fini, but but who knows? Maybe maybe a Lele, Coco, or Bulu will just appear in one of these packs. You never know. I think that's our first Caracosta. I don't think we've pulled him yet. Reverse Hollow Normalium Z Tackle. It 
Yes, right, true knight. Pipe pole is an ultra beast. That is correct. And he does evolve into the Nagato. Uh, right here. That's what Poipole evolves. Evolves to. Uh, actually, now that I think of it, I think Poipole is, uh, one of only, like, a few Ultra Beasts that actually evolve. Um. Is there another one? Let, 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 let me think. Let me let, let me just think. Is there another Ultra Beast that evolves? Pipole. Ah, my, it might be the only one. You might be right, Raichu. Pipole might be the only Ultra Beast that actually evolves. Okay, okay, come on, camera. Focus in here. Yeah, Normalium Z, reverse, and... Nice! And the Ultra Rifle Hearts! This time we have Aerodactyl GX. Being restored from a fossil into a GX card. Dude, very, very nice. So yeah, I mean, we're doing good for... Doing pretty good for Full Arts. Still waiting for that Seeker Rare, though. But hey, anyways, it is a different GX card. So here we go, Aerodactyl GX. With the Primal Wings ability, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's basic Pokemon's attacks cost one colorless energy more. Yo, thanks, Stone Rain. Let's see, it also has Boulder Crush for 120 damage, no effect. And then its GX move, Wild Dive. This attack does 50 damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So there we go, that is Aerodactyl GX. Very, very nice. Yo, how's it going? How's it going, Stone Rain? Hopefully you're doing well on this long weekend. Uh, yeah, because right now we are still searching for a secret rare. Feel like it's going to happen in this second box. Pipole and its evolution again at all. Only Ultra Beast that part of an evolution in the line. So you were right, Raichu. Pipole is the only Ultra Beast that evolves. So that is good to know. Cook us the food for tomorrow? Nice. That sounds pretty good. I'm wondering what you're cooking over there. Uh, what is this? Slumbering Forest. Actually, I have not pulled this trainer card yet. So, very, very nice. Slumbering Forest, this is... If a Pokemon is asleep, its owner flips two coins instead of one for that special condition between turns. If either of them... If either of them is Tails, that Pokemon is still asleep. So basically it just makes it twice as hard to get rid of the special condition sleep on your Pokemon. So 
So very nice that we actually managed to pull. There we go, reverse holo arachnid. That's a very reverse holo. Nice. And our second Archeops. So yay for another dupe. Deep sleep. Yeah, that 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 would definitely qualify as a <laughs> special condition for sure. A deep sleep for Pokemon, yeah. Really good for the for the ghost Pokemon like Ghastly and Miss Drevis to, to prey on. Gone to Pokemon. Got into the card game only like two weeks ago. Nice. Oh, awesome! I'm glad you. Uh, uh, I'm happy that you kids really love the Pokemon. Pokemon game. You used to play Magic. Okay, so you used to play Magic. So, well, that's cool. So it was easy for you to, sort of pick up the Pokemon TCG game. So that's really cool. Oh, oh you're trying to figure out the meta. I'm honestly not even sure what the meta is right now. Nor that nor do I really like follow exactly what it is cuz like myself I don't really I don't really, I don't play the, the card game, I just, I just collect the cards. So, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what the exact meta is right now. Anyways, we have an Amoongus! Finally, a different non hollow rare card that are in this massive set. But yeah, I, I know I know there's a lot of people that really like the Regiram in Charizard GX. So maybe there's a bunch of people playing that because it is like it is like the most playable like Charizard card out there. And I mean it did get there was a lot of fire support in Unbroken Bonds as well. Because I think when Dragon Majesty was released, there was a little bit of fire support in that set. But there wasn't much. But then Unbroken Bonds got released and all of a sudden you got all these... You got Regirim Charizard, you got all these fire support cards. And so it was because of that set that, you know, some of the fire support cards in uh, Dragon Majesty ended up going up in value. Uh, reverse Hall of Scavalier! That is a rare Reverse Hall, so very nice. And our second Drift Blim. Once again, the dupes. Are in full force right now. But yeah, I think I remember like. Oh, what was the card? Um, what was the card in Dragon Majesty? Ah, uh, Fiery Flint. I remember like the secret rare Fiery Flint. In that set was only like a ten, twelve dollar card before Unbroken Bonds was released, and then after Unbroken Bonds was released, now that now that Secret Rare card's like oh boy, like 40, 50 bucks now. 
Like, it really went up in value. Because, like, oh man, we have all this fire support now. This kind of makes uh, Fiery Flint now, like, an actual good card. So, it kinda, it's kind of weird how it works. Reverse Hall Litwick. And, really? Our second Haxorus Hollow Rare? Oh boy. So now we're gonna get dupes of Hollow Rares now. Oh boy. What is happening with these two boxes? Oh man. What's the money card for on Unified Minds? Uh, the Secret Rare, Mewtwo, and Mew GX. That is that. That that that's the money card that everybody's going for in this set. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much it's worth right now, but uh, U-turn board. We actually have not pulled this trainer card yet. So here we go. I this might be like one of the last few trainer cards left to pull. There we go. U-turn board. Let's see. This one is... The retreat cost of the Pokemon this card is attached to is one cost energy less. If this card is discarded from play, put it into your hand instead of the discard pile. So the second effect is basically the same as the recycle energy. We get to reuse it over and over again. Of course, as long as it doesn't go into the Lost Zone. Because once it gets into the Lost Zone, it's gone. A great potion. Uh, also, another trainer card is not pulled yet, surprisingly. So there was actually a couple left. So, great potion. Heal 50 damage from your active Pokemon GX. Pretty simple. Reverse Hollow Right Olu. And. Hey! An ultra rare Latios GX. Very, very nice. So, alright, we finally have a Latios to go with, like, the three Latiuses that we've gotten so far. So, very, very nice. So, Latios GX. With the Power Bind ability. If you have four or fewer Pokemon in play, this Pokemon can't attack. Ooh. Okay, so that's kind of a. Uh, that kind of really restricts sort of using Latios GX in that sense. So you kind of need a lot of Pokemon in play for this Pokemon to attack. It has Tag Purge for 120 damage. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Tag Team Pokemon. And then his GX move, Clear Vision. For the rest of this game, your opponent can't use any GX attacks. So that, that GX move can actually be pretty good. You know, basically, you know, taking away their 
GX token for the rest of the game. Cause, cause remember, cause remember, GX attacks you only get one. You only get one GX attack per game. So, you, so you kind of have to make it good. So, being being able to take it away, take away that one GX attack from your opponent for the rest of the game. That can be actually pretty, pretty useful for you and pretty detrimental for your opponents. Vosh, Vosh, Vostro 200. The old Dell Tower. Hmm. Vostro 200, is that like... Is that like an old model of like Dell computer or something? I think, I think that's what it sounds like. Sounds like... Sounds like an old sort of Dell computer of sorts. That, that's what I'm, that's what I'm guessing. Ooh, reverse hollow, the killer key. That's another rare reverse hollow. There we go, another double rare pack. And a Meloetta non hollow rare. Finally getting a different non hollow rare card out of here. And not a dupe. Because I knew. Because I knew there was more non hollow rares that we haven't pulled yet. These packs are just trying to make me think that there weren't too many, but. Okay. Oh. oh wow. XP Vista. Wow. Yeah, that is definitely old. Uh, especially XP. Oh man. Man, how old is when XP? That's like XP is like early two thousands. Um. Uh, Windows. Uh, Windows operating system or whatever. Yeah, XP is really old. Uh, tag switch. Definitely. Definitely have not pulled this yet. Tag switch. Move, the, move up to two energy from one of your tag team Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. So that is Tag Switch. There's Elgium. Reverse Hall Thunderous. That's surprisingly just an uncommon. And our second Scrafty. Okay, so so you are thirty, right, two nights, which means Windows, which means Windows three point is twenty nine years old. Wow, twenty nine years old, Windows three. Wow, that is. That is old. So Windows 3.0, 29 years old. Windows 3.0 is so Windows 3.0 was released back in 1990. Wow. I I honestly didn't even know computers. People had computers back then. Because I wasn't born until 
93. And I think, and I, I think the first, I think the first computer that I remember having was a uh, Windows 95 uh, computer that we had for a while. And I think also one of my grandparents also had a Windows 95 computer with a bunch of like cool games on it like like pinball and Tempest and whatnot. Hey! <coughs> Finally, pulling a secret rare out of here. Wow. Wow, it took like a booster box and a half to do it, but we finally did it. So here we are, finally, a secret rare Naganodal GX. We actually pulled the full art. Naganodal GX earlier in the first box. So we have the full art, we have the secret rare one now. Now I just need the regular ultra rare. So there we go. Finally pulling a secret rare out of here. Very, very pretty card. There we go. Finally, a secret rare out of Unified Minds. I I was honestly getting worried that we were not gonna pull a secret rare out of two booster boxes. So there we go. Finally, did it. We pulled a secret rare card. Oh, I, I, I didn't even know Poipole. I didn't even know Poipole evolves into Naganadol like that. But then again, I haven't really played... I haven't really played Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. Because I actually don't have those games. Because I don't have... Because I don't have a 3DS, unfortunately. So, like, unless I get a 3DS, I can't really play those games. Yes, that is true. New Candle is Poison Dragon type. That is correct. Yeah, I, I, I know in previous sets, New Candle was released as, psychic, as a Psychic type card. Cause, cause, cause I know, I know in older Pokemon sets, I think it was, I think, I think before Diamond and Pearl was released, um, Poison types used to be, uh, printed as, um, Grass type cards, and I'm pretty sure starting in Diamond and Pearl, they started... Uh, printing poison type Pokemon as uh, psychic type cards. That's sort of one of the changes they made in starting in the Diamond and Pearl series. Oh, also going back to your earlier comments. Um, Wow, jeez, Windows 3.1 is even older than I am. <laughs> yeah, Windows 3.1 is a little over a year older than I am. Wow, Stone Rain, you graduated high school in 93. Jeez. 
Yeah, you are... Yeah, you are definitely quite old. Uh, Stone Rain. She graduated high school back when I was born. Wow. Yeah, you are definitely... Definitely getting up there. For sure. Rosal Cresselia. And a Toxapex. So there we go, finally. Get another new non hollow rare card out of here. Alright, here we go. Second half of the second box. Or for you football and basketball fans. It is the fourth quarter. So we are in the home stretch, everybody. So yeah. So yeah, yeah, when it was 3.1 being older than I am. Boy, oh boy. Kind of makes me feel young in that sense when there's technology out there that is still older than me and will forever be older than me. And also, this is our second Noivern. So, yay, another dupe. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, me. Hopefully, hopefully, Evo will still be going on after, after I finish up this opening. Maybe I'll. May I'll end up catching like the end of like Smash Ultimate or something. Reverse Hollow Terrakian. That's another rare reverse hollow. Nice. Just get those rare reverse hollows. We love them. And that's our second arachnid. So another duplicate non hollow rare. So yeah, um, okay, we pull the full art and pull a secret, so we, we might get another full art, or we might get another secret out of this box, potentially. Again, it's not guaranteed that it's gonna happen, but it could potentially happen. If we do happen to get, if we get another full or secret, definitely would like like it to be the Mewtwo in Mew GX because that's obviously the tag team GX that everybody's going for in the sets. Ooh, a Necrozma, not Hollow Rare. Wow, that guy actually looks. Well, he looks pretty menacing in the uh, in the shadows right there, standing in front of the light. Wow. I thought Necrozma was an Ultra Beast, or is that just Ultra Necrozma? I think what it looks like it's just Ultra Necrozma that's the Ultra Beast. I didn't realize Necrozma was not an Ultra Beast. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it is an Ultra Beast. 
Wait. So wait, if it's if it is an ultra beast, how come there's no there's no ultra beasts? And how come it doesn't say Ultra Beast right, like, up here somewhere? That's weird, okay. Okay, I'm not sure... I'm not sure why Pokemon did that. They didn't label... An Ultra Beast card as an Ultra Beast. It was it, it was either either Pokemon intentionally marked Necrozma cards lab not labeled as Ultra Beast or or that's a misprint somehow. I, I I'm gonna have to look that up. So maybe misprint? Misprint? Question mark? Anyways, where's all Lick Tongue? Any Galventula! That's our first Galventula we have pulled. So very nice. Okay, so technically it is an Ultra Beast. So technically it is. But at the same time it technically isn't. Okay. Okay, so so that that is that is kind of interesting. So, eh, you know what? You know what? I, I I trust Pokemon. It's probably not a missed prince. They probably intentionally marked the Cosma as not being an Ultra Beast for this set. Got Rital Numble, and our second. Our second Sword and Shield, everybody! We're getting prepped for... We're getting prepped for 2020's Sword and Shield base set. Because now we got a pair of Sword and Shields with Eggy Slash. Oh boy. Dupes are coming in in full force, everybody. Alright. Getting down there in the second half of the second box. I think at this point we've seen all the commons and uncommons, so we'll definitely go through these packs quite a bit faster. First of all, Homage in a regular Leaveny. Let's go with the reverse 401 that we got earlier. So that is pretty sweet. So yeah, you know, honestly, I, I'm pretty excited for for Hidden Fates. That's going to be coming out later this month. Cause, cause I mean, I I kind I kind of figured that we were going to get a set, an English set that was very similar to Japanese's GX Ultra Shiny set that they got over there. So I'm pretty excited to see 
what all the shining Pokemon GX, all the shining Pokemon cards that are going to be in Hidden Fates. Reverse Hollow Barrel, Gain or Second, Hey, Mortar. Woo! Duplicates. But yes, I, yes, so I'm very excited for when Hidden Fates gets released and we do openings of bunches of packs of that set. But, but, eh, we'll, we'll, we'll probably talk more about the set once we get, once the products, once the set gets released and we get the products and packs and actually do an opening of, of that set. Reverse Hollow Bahiam. That's a rare Reverse Hollow. And nice, there we go. We have another ultra rare card. This time is Heatran GX. Very, very nice. There we go, getting a getting a GX card that we've not pulled yet. All right, let's see what Heat Ran GX does. It's got the Bernie Road ability. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to become your active Pokemon, you may move any number of fire energy from your other Pokemon to it. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I don't think I remember a fact where where it's activated, where you move a Pokemon from a bench to become a Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Just from that sense. Let's see, it also has Steaming Stomp for 130 damage. And its GX move, Hot Burn. This attack does 50 damage times the amount of fire energy attached to this Pokemon. So that is Heatran GX. Doing pretty good for regular Ultras. Haven't pulled a duplicate regular Ultra yet, which is nice. Given that there are actually quite a lot of there are quite a lot of regular ultra rare GX cards in this set. So hopefully by the time over the next two weeks we end up opening up you know the booster case and other stuff that I got. Hey a reverse holo tapu coco Hello So there we go we've pulled We've pulled Tapu Fini and now Tapu Coco. So maybe, 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 just maybe, Lele and Bulu are also in this set. But there you go, that is the Reverse Holo Tapu Coco. And of course, it's a rare Reverse Holo. And well, that's our third Steel X, so. But who cares? We pulled a Tapu Coco. So that is awesome. So yes, there is hope that Lele and Bulu might also be in the set. Right. Yeah, we're getting down there. We got seven more packs after this. Seven more packs, and then we'll be done with part one. Reverse all per line. 
And a Magnet Zone Hollow Rare. Very nice. Very nice. We actually pulled the reverse Hollow Magnet Zone earlier, so now we have the regular Hollow Rare card. Awesome. Uh. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce your full name. I'll just say God. Welcome to the stream, God. Hopefully you are having a great long weekend and are doing well. Just in time to watch the end of part one of the massive... Unified Minds opening. So, so yeah, hopefully you're doing well, God. Also, also, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the, uh, the compliment for my stream. That is much appreciated. Reverse Hollow Execute. And our second Haunch Crow. Non hollow rare. You have over 300 cards. Oh no. Oh, no rare ones? Mm, that's kind of too bad. But I thought with all those rare. with all those cards you got, you might have had. At least a few rare cards, but oh well. Just call you Char. Okay, sounds good. Char, it is. As in Charmander, Charmeleon, maybe Charizard. Maybe you like to be called Charizard. Cause I mean, everybody loves Charizard. You know, Charizard is like, like the next most popular Pokemon after Pikachu. Re all right, where's all the Pokemon Research Lab and each ah uh, ultra rare Jirachi GX. All right. Very, very nice. Actually, that that is a very pretty artwork. I like that Jirachi in the night sky with all the with the the starry night sky background there. That is very cool. I really like that. All right, so here we go. Jirachi GX with the Psychic Zone ability. Don't apply Psychic Weakness when Pokemon, both yours and your opponents, take damage from attacks. That's a pretty unique uh, don't apply weakness effect. Uh, let's see, also has Star Search. Search your deck for an energy card and attach it to one of your psychic Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. Then it's GX move, Star Shield for 100 damage. Prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So there we go, that is Jirachi GX. Another ultra rare card. I love it. You have a few EX cards in the old Halucha. Nice. Nice. So, so, you, so you do have a uh, a few rare cards in your collection. So that is cool. Got a reverse all of you, nice. 
Mew is another sort of Mew is another really really popular Pokemon that has that has a few cards that are that are up there in value. I don't know that the, there's there's usually the cards that have the highest value are like Pikachu, Charizard, Mewtwo, Mew, and like most most legendary Pokemon. They usually have cards that are that are pretty pretty rare and pretty good value. Reverse Hollow Gavatula, that's a rare reverse hollow, very nice. Getting those rare reverse hollow double rare packs. And our second Alolan Raichu hollow rare. Man, when are we going to pull the tag team of this with the regular Raichu? And yes, Raichu Knight, we just pulled the Alolan version of you. <laughs> Oh, you struggle with streaming? Oh. I, I mean... I mean... I mean, when you start out um, streaming, like... When you first start out, generally you don't get a lot of people. So... Like, even now, like, I've been streaming on Twitch for, I think, over three years now, and even so, I only get about maybe, like, you know, three, four people watching me sometimes. So, you know, don't, don't worry if you don't get a lot of people watching your stream, because there's... There's literally like millions of other streams that people don't watch. I only get like one or two people, so do not worry. You you just gotta you know you just gotta keep working at the stream, trying to make it grow. And you know, depending on what you're streaming, you may you may end up. Maybe go on a stream that, you know, maybe gets, maybe, you know, up to like 10 people watching or 20 people watching. You know, it, it, it's, it's hit, it's hit, it's hit, it's hit or miss, you know. But you know what? But, you know, if you love streaming, like, absolutely, keep at it. You know, work, you know, work hard to, you know, stream, make it look nice. And who knows, maybe one day you'll start, start earning a few bucks on Twitch. Whoa, a reverse holo dragon knight. Oh, yeah, actually... Actually, speaking of Dragon Knight, Dragon Knight GX is also in this set as well. So that's another GX card that we can uh, we can pull from this set. So there we go, Dragon Knight GX, a rare reverse holo. And well, just an executor. There, second one of those. <laughs> Oh, you stream off your iPhone 5? Oh, nice. Your most is three people? Hey, that's pretty good. That's a start. That's a start. Hey. So maybe, maybe your goal is maybe to get four people watching you at one time. And then you can, you know, try, try to just build from there. 
I, th I, th I think the most people I've ever had watch at me at one time was... I think I think the most people I've had was like 20, 20 or 25. But that was, that was like a while ago when I was... Um, when I like first started streaming and I was streaming a, uh, a hot meme of a Game Boy game. That was known as Animorphs. Cause yeah, back in like 2016, 2017, that was. I think it was mostly 2016 that that game was was a really hot meme for a while. But now it's now the memes kind of fizzled out. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. The last pack of part one of the massive Unified Minds opening. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic out of here. And this is the last pack of box number two, so have a code, guys. See if you guys can also pull something awesome out of there. So, I think if we do get anything, we might get a full art or a secret. Yo, Char! Who is the follow? Thank you so much, Char. Every little bit of support helps. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I think, yeah, each code is like different. Like, like each code, like each code in a Unified Minds Booster Pack is for an online Unified Minds Booster Packs. Uh, no. I know, I know, I, t I know, I tested this with another view a while ago. Um, it doesn't matter if the code is white or green. Uh, green codes can still give you like, can still give you like ultra rares and all sorts of good pulls like that, and potentially, potentially, it's not guaranteed. And white codes can still give you boost packs that have like non hollow rares in it. So it, it's just completely random. Like, e like, even though I don't play the online game myself, I tested this with another viewer from past stream, and yeah. So yes, even, so yes, even if you get, like, a green code or white code, if you use that code for the online game, it, you're not necessarily gonna get a, a booster pack that's very, you know, so you're gonna get a similar booster pack for the actual pack of cards that it comes in. If you know what I mean. Anyways, last reverse hollow, it is a Drillber. And our last rare card is. Ocelot King Hollow Bear. Nice. Once again, ending the booster box with a foil card. <laughs> alright. So, so alright, so let's let's do a recap here guys of uh all the pulls we got. Alright, so we'll quickly, we'll just kind of skim through the reverse 
foils. All 72 reverse foils here. Okay, I see there's Tap Coco's in there. Terrakians in there. Got a Scalvier, Arachnid, Magnezone, Trapeons in there. What other good ones did we get? Oh yeah, Zygarde. Zygarde's in there. Oh yeah, we did pull a Mancham. Nice. Alright, so that's the reverse for us. For Hollow Rares. I may have to organize here. Where there's a few cards. Oh, give me a second here, guys. Alright. Alright, so. For Hollow Rares, we got one Slacking, two Alolan Raichu Knights. Uh, one Magnezone, two Sword and Shields, because we are we're prepping for 2020 Sword and Shield base sets. Uh, two Haxorises, uh, one Celebi, one Chandelure, one Oxy, oops. And one Victini. So that's our hollow rares. For our regular ultra rares, we have we have Jirachi, Heatran, Latios, Espion Deoxys, Keldeo, Rala and the Lone Executor. Mawile, Weevil, Slowpoke, and Psyduck. And that's it. Alright, for our ultra rare full arts, we have Aerodactyl, Naganadol, and our Pokemaniac dress up as Slowpoke. Doing doggy style. <laughs> oh man, dude, I am going to love that full art Pokemaniac. And for our one secret rare, that we pulled out of two boxes, we have our Naganadol GX. Yo, Fortnite Boss 148. Welcome to the end of part one of the massive Unified Minds opening. Um, yeah, sorry that you kind of missed the live stream, but do not worry, everybody, because I do upload all of my openings up onto my YouTube channel, so... Once it's uploaded to my YouTube channel sometime tomorrow afternoon, uh, you can go over to my channel and uh, you can watch it as many times as you want. So yes, anyways, that is the end of part one, like I just said. Um, part two, next week, we will be opening up two more booster boxes. And we're also going to be opening up the Elite Trainer Box as well. So yes, that will be 80 more packs and 80 more chances to pull maybe a Secret Rare Mewtwo and Mew GX. Maybe a Secret Rare Viridian Forest. Who knows? So yes, anyways. Thank you all, everybody for watching. And also thank you once again to everybody with the new follows. 
once again, all your support is very much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I can catch the, uh, the end of EVO. Uh, hopefully it's still going on. I haven't, like, missed everything, uh, just yet. So, yes. So, yes, thank you, everybody, for watching. Until next time, everybody. Have a good night. Take care. And I will see you guys next time.